As a result of an innovative special operation, the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine managed to defeat the Russian flotilla in the Caspian Sea for the first time. The distance from the state border of Ukraine to the target is about 1,500 kilometers. As Union Media Outlet was informed by intelligence sources, the attack with the help of kamikaze drones took place on the morning of November 6. As a result of the UAV strikes, at least two objects in the city of Kaspiysk, in the Republic of Dagestan were damaged. In particular, these are probably the missile ships Tatarstan and Dagestan. Small missile ships of Project 21631 were also probably damaged. According to media reports, coastal troops, including Marines, are based at the damaged facility. The attacked flotilla launched missile strikes against Ukraine, and the 177th Marine Regiment took part in battles in the Kherson and Zaporizhia regions. Also, according to the source, as a result of the operations, the airport in Makhachkala has also been suspended. Andriy Kovalenko, the head of the Center for Counteracting Disinformation of Ukraine says that the port in the Russian city of Kaspiysk was attacked. In particular, according to Kovalenko, ships of the Russian Navy are located in Kaspiysk. Kaspiysk is the main base of the Red Banner Caspian Flotilla of the Russian Navy. It is located in Dagestan, 15 kilometers from Makhachkala. According to open sources, Russian coastal troops, including the naval infantry, are stationed here. The garrison consists of about 1,500 personnel. In particular, the following are located in Kaspiysk, a landing pad where ships and hovercraft, previously part of the 242nd Landing Ship Division, are stationed. These vessels, no longer part of the fleet, are used for marine infantry training. Fuel and lubricant bases. An arsenal for coastal troops. A training range. Russia was preparing to carry out terrorist attacks on board cargo or passenger planes heading to the United States and Canada, the Wall Street Journal reports. Western intelligence agencies believe that two incendiary devices sent by a DHL were part of a covert Russian operation that ultimately aimed to cause fires on board civilian aircraft. The publication recalled that these devices exploded in July at DHL logistics centers. This happened in Leipzig, Germany and Birmingham, England. The blasts sparked a multinational race to find the culprits. Now investigators and spy agencies in Europe have figured out how the devices, electric messages filled with a flammable magnesium-based substance, were made and concluded they were part of a broader Russian conspiracy. The Wall Street Journal writes, Security officials say the electric messages sent to Britain from Lithuania appear to have been a trial run to see how to smuggle such incendiary devices on board planes bound for North America. Remarkably, the search for those involved was not limited to Germany and England, where the explosions occurred. The Polish National Prosecutor's Office reported the arrest of four people in connection with the fires. The country's authorities accused them of participating in sabotage or terrorist operations on behalf of foreign intelligence. Poland is cooperating with other countries to find at least two more suspects. The group's goal was also to test the channel for transmitting such packages, which were ultimately to be sent to the United States of America and Canada. The prosecutor's office said without specifying who exactly led the group's activities. The publication noted that Poland has not named the four people arrested in connection with the incendiary device incidents. Their nationalities also remain unknown. Britain is investigating the Birmingham bombing in cooperation with other law enforcement agencies in Europe. No arrests have been made, a spokesman for the country's counter-terrorism police said. Meanwhile, the head of Germany's International Security Agency, Thomas Haldenwang, told lawmakers that no one was hurt by the flight delay, calling it a lucky coincidence. 
Russian dictator Vladimir Putin's spokesman, Dmitry Peskov, responded to a Wall Street Journal inquiry by saying the Kremlin has never heard any formal accusations of Russia's involvement. In October, The Times reported that Russian spies were suspected of planting an incendiary device on a plane in the UK. It later caught fire at a DHL warehouse in Birmingham. The UK was working with law enforcement agencies in other countries to establish whether there was a link to similar recent incidents on the continent. It was noted that the parcel had arrived in Birmingham by air, highlighting the recklessness of the incident. DHL said it was taking action to protect its network staff and assets, as well as customer shipments. The Russian army has increased the use of armored vehicles during assaults by small groups advancing its troops to the administrative border of the Donetsk region. This was stated by Ukrainian military analyst Dmitro Snihirov. According to Snihirov, recent weeks have been characterized by increased activity of Russian occupying forces, which are using up to 30 armored vehicles during a single assault. Previously, the enemy's tactics involved actions by small groups. However, he also noted that Russia has serious problems with armored vehicles and the ability to use such equipment will be exhausted by mid-2025. The expert believes that the Russian Federation may try to encircle Ukrainian positions in the Pokrovsk area, but does not foresee a serious breakthrough of the front to the Dnipro and Zaporizhia. Whether a Russian breakthrough is possible in the Dnipropetrovsk region or an expansion of hostilities in Zaporizhia, these are panic moods, he stated. Snihirov also pointed out that information about the squeezing out of Ukrainian forces from positions in the Kursk region is part of an informational and psychological operation by the Russian Federation. He emphasized the successful actions of the Ukrainian armed forces in recent days and the halt of the offensive in the direction of the Kursk nuclear power plant, preventing accusations of nuclear terrorism against the Ukrainian side. Recall on the front lines, Ukrainian soldiers use a graphic term to describe the Russian tactics they face daily. They call them meat assaults. Waves of Russian soldiers coming at their defensive positions, sometimes nearly a dozen times in a day. This tactic has led to staggering Russian casualties since Moscow launched its latest offensive. Those attacking are normally quickly spotted by drones above and the Russians leave their dead and wounded on the battlefield. The tactic is a sign that Russia is seeking to make the most of its key advantage. Numbers Russia benefits from a significantly larger population than Ukraine. Some of those in the assaults are former prisoners, but Russia is also able to recruit through making one-off payments, sometimes thousands of dollars. 